known as the Antikythera Mechanism. Its origin and purpose are shrouded in secrecy. The entire facade of it is covered with writing that had never been seen previously. How is it possible that this thing was made over 2,000 years ago? The sea keeps its secrets well. For centuries, storms have buried empires, erased coastlines and hidden the bones of history beneath miles of salt and silence. But in the spring of 1900, that silence was broken by accident. A group of sponge divers from the tiny Greek island of Simi had anchored their ship near a jagged speck of land called Antikythera. The sea was restless, the sky gray with rain. With time to kill, Captain Dimitrios Kontos sent one of his men, Elias Stadiatis, down to explore the seabed. He descended in a heavy canvas suit, his copper helmet gleaming in the dim light, air hissing through the long rubber hose. The world below was a different planet, dark, weightless, and filled with shapes that barely looked real. Then he saw them, dozens of figures tangled together in the sand, human shapes, arms, faces, twisted bodies frozen in silence. Stadiatis panicked. He yanked the signal line and shot back to the surface, gasping for air, claiming he'd found a graveyard of the dead. But when the captain dove to see for himself, he surfaced not with bones, but with bronze. A human arm green with centuries of corrosion. That single arm marked the beginning of one of the greatest discoveries in archaeology. Over the next year, divers and the Greek Navy joined forces to excavate the wreck that lay 150 feet below. They brought up statues of gods and heroes, marble faces staring into eternity, coins, glassware, and fragments of something no one could identify. Among the treasures was a small, corroded lump of metal and wood. It didn't look like much, just debris forgotten. It would sit untouched in a museum crate for months until a sharp-eyed scholar noticed a glint of something impossible, a gear, a bronze gear from over 2,000 years ago it would take another century and the power of artificial intelligence to reveal what that gear truly was. Not treasure, not decoration, but the shattered remains of a machine so advanced it shouldn't have existed. The strange, corroded mass sat quietly in the museum's storeroom, just another artifact from a shipwreck that time had nearly erased. But on May 17, 1902, a curator named Valerio Stais leaned closer to examine it under the light. Beneath the crust of bronze and rock, Something caught his eye, the faint outline of teeth, not human teeth, gear teeth. It made no sense. No other object from ancient Greece or anywhere from that age had ever shown such precision, such mechanical purpose. What scholars would later call the Antikythera mechanism was older than the ship that carried it. Carbon dating and contextual evidence placed its creation somewhere around 150 to 100 BC meaning it had been sailing the Aegean long before Rome ruled the Mediterranean. 82 fragments survived, about a third of the whole device. 30 bronze gears interlocking in silence. Each tooth was cut by hand with impossible accuracy, each wheel designed to move in perfect harmony. It wasn't art, it was engineering. The largest surviving piece, Fragment A, still held much of the original gear work a complex nest of bronze circles fused by time. Others preserved faint inscriptions, scratched into metal by a maker who clearly meant for them to be read. But read by who? And for what purpose? For decades, no one could say. The fragments were too fragile to handle and too encrusted to study. Only hints of dials and Greek letters peeked through. Then in the 1970s, researchers began probing the pieces with early X-ray machines. What they found defied belief. Inside the corroded shell were multiple layers of gears, each rotating at different speeds, as if it had once calculated cycles, patterns, or perhaps something celestial. But it would take another 30 years and new technology before the machine would finally speak again. Because hidden within that bronze ruin was something far greater than a tool or a toy, it was the mind of an ancient engineer trying to model the cosmos itself. For more than a century, the Antikythera mechanism remained a whisper, a riddle trapped in bronze. Its gears were frozen, its purpose erased. Historians argued over what it could have been, an astrolabe, a calendar, maybe even a navigational aid. 
but no theory could explain the sheer complexity of its design. Then came the year 2005, the year the past finally began to reveal its secrets. A team of Greek and British researchers entered the National Archaeological Museum in Athens, carrying technology that no archaeologist had ever used before. Their mission wasn't to admire the artifact, it was to see through it. They brought two machines. The first, a 12-ton X-ray tomography scanner, so massive it had to be craned into the museum, was affectionately called the Blade Runner. It was designed to fire beams of high-energy X-rays through each fragment, one layer at a time. The second, a reflectance imaging system built by Hewlett-Packard, cast light across the surface from dozens of angles, allowing scientists to capture even the faintest scratches invisible to the human eye. For weeks, the team worked in silence as screens flickered with ghostly cross-sections. Bronze shadows began to take shape, wheels within wheels, gears stacked upon one another, all arranged with mathematical precision. Then came the breakthrough. Hidden between the gears were letters, thousands of tiny hand-carved inscriptions, barely a millimeter tall. When enhanced by the imaging systems, the words emerged from the corrosion like messages from another world. They weren't random, they were instructions, written by the very hand that built the device. Each phrase described cycles, alignments, and patterns of movement, the moon, the sun, the planets, even eclipses. In that moment, the impossible became undeniable. This corroded relic wasn't a trinket or ornament. It was a mechanical cosmos. The back of the mechanism revealed two large spiral dials. One tracked the Metonic cycle, a 19-year rhythm that kept the Greek lunar calendar aligned with the seasons. The other traced the Saros cycle, predicting eclipses down to whether they'd be visible at day or night over Greece. Each small box along the spiral contained symbols and Greek letters marking lunar or solar eclipses. The hour they'd occur, even the color the sky might take. It was precise, elegant, unbelievable. Historians now realized they were looking at something 2,000 years ahead of its time, an analog computer capable of calculating celestial events with astonishing accuracy. But as incredible as the rear dials were, they were only half the story, because the front half of the device, the part believed to have displayed the movements of the planets, was missing. And without it, the machine's full purpose remained a mystery. For the next decade, teams of scientists, engineers, and mathematicians around the world would try to reconstruct it, but they were missing one final piece, a breakthrough powerful enough to restore the lost words and numbers carved into its surface. That missing piece would come not from archaeology, but from artificial intelligence. If you've made it this far, you're one of the few who truly appreciate these lost wonders of our past. So take a second to like this video and subscribe to The Forgotten Depths, where we dive deep into the mysteries that history tried to bury. Because the next chapter of this story is where ancient genius meets modern technology. By the early 2000s, the Antikythera mechanism had revealed half its story, a celestial calculator of stunning precision. For years, every attempt to rebuild it ended in contradiction. Too many gears, too little space, and too many unknowns carved into fractured inscriptions. Then, more than 2,000 years after the device sank beneath the waves, artificial intelligence entered the story. In 2021, researchers at University College London began using a model called Ithaca, an AI system trained to restore damaged ancient Greek texts. On its own, Ithaca could predict missing letters with about 60% accuracy. But when combined with expert historians, that accuracy jumped to over 70. Suddenly, inscriptions that had been unreadable for decades became clear. And within those fragments were the answers, exact ratios describing how each of the known planets moved through the sky. Each number mattered, a single misread symbol could throw an entire orbit off course, but now, with AI's help, scholars could reconstruct those sequences with confidence. Using these recovered details, the team began building a digital model of the missing front, a planetary display that had to fit within the machine's narrow bronze frame. It was called the model of the cosmos. This wasn't imagination, it was engineering. Every gear had to obey the surviving mathematics, fit within millimeters of space, and move without collision. 
layer by layer the gears took shape. Small epicyclic systems to mimic planetary speed changes, pin and slot mechanisms to reproduce retrograde motion. It was an ancient form of orbital physics, hidden in bronze. When the model was complete, something extraordinary appeared, a fully functional reconstruction that could display the Sun, Moon and five known planets, each moving in harmony around the Earth. After 2,000 years, the cosmos turned once again. Imagine standing before the Antikythera mechanism 2,000 years ago, a bronze box no bigger than a shoebox, mounted with dials, pointers, and a small hand crank, its surface gleaming faintly in the lamplight. Turn the handles and the heavens begin to move. At the very center sits Earth, a small dome surrounded by concentric rings of bronze. Around it, slender arms sweep in silence, each carrying a bead representing one of the seven known celestial bodies, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, the Sun, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. With every rotation of the crank, the entire universe unfolds before your eyes. The golden bead of the Sun glides along the zodiac ring, marking the turning of the year, from Aries at spring's first light to Libra at the fall equinox. Beside it, a tiny black and white sphere turns with hypnotic grace, showing the changing phases of the Moon, from new to full and back again. Even more astonishing, the Moon's movement wasn't constant. It sped up and slowed down, perfectly mimicking its real path through the night sky. A subtle motion achieved by a pin and slot mechanism, one of the earliest known examples of variable motion in human history. Beyond the Moon's dance, the planets moved according to their own strange rhythms. The Greeks had long noticed that Mars, Jupiter and Saturn occasionally appeared to reverse direction in the sky, a cosmic illusion known as retrograde motion. To replicate this, the mechanism used small gears mounted on rotating arms, epicyclic gearing, so that each planet appeared to pause, drift backward, then continue forward again, exactly as seen from Earth. The design was impossibly elegant. Each layer of bronze was alive with mathematical precision, one turn of the handle represented a day, another a month, another a year. In a single motion, the operator could see when the next eclipse would occur, when Venus would vanish into the sun's glare, or when Mars would rise bright and red in opposition. But this was more than just a scientific instrument. It was a map of the cosmos, a physical embodiment of how the ancient Greeks understood their universe. To them, the heavens weren't distant or abstract, they were divine. The machine wasn't only measuring time, it was measuring fate. Around the edges of the dial were inscriptions, small Greek letters pointing to seasonal markers, the risings and settings of stars, the times for festivals and games. Farmers could use it to track harvests, sailors to navigate tides, and priests to predict celestial omens. Every rotation of the gears echoed the belief that the cosmos was orderly, knowable and alive a divine mechanism turning with reason and beauty. When modern engineers reconstructed it and saw all nine celestial markers moving together, the moon, the planets, the sun and the calendar, they realized they weren't just looking at a machine. They were looking at the mind of its maker, someone who had captured the rhythm of the universe inside a handful of bronze gears. And that revelation would forever change what we thought we knew about the ancient world. When the Antikythera mechanism was finally brought back to life, the world realized something staggering, that more than 2,000 years ago, someone had already touched the future. Every gear, every etched letter, every calculation spoke of a civilization whose understanding of the cosmos was far beyond what history had credited them for. This was not the work of chance, it was the work of genius, precise, methodical and deeply philosophical, the Greeks didn't just watch the stars, they mechanized them. The device embodied a belief that the universe followed patterns, that time, fate and motion could all be expressed in gears and ratios. To them, understanding the sky meant understanding existence itself, and yet what's most haunting is what came next. After the Antikythera mechanism, history falls silent. No other device like it appears for nearly two millennia. The knowledge somehow was lost, swallowed by the collapse of empires, wars and fire. It took until the Renaissance for humankind to rediscover mechanical astronomy on this level. By then, the genius who built this first one had long turned to dust and his craft had faded into myth. We still don't know who created it, 
Was it built in the workshops of Rhodes, perhaps by a follower of Hipparchus, the father of trigonometry? Or was it commissioned for a powerful patron, an heir of the great thinkers of Alexandria? Whoever it was, they were an engineer, centuries, ahead of their time, a mind capable of compressing the heavens into bronze. Today, as artificial intelligence deciphers its final inscriptions, we find ourselves in a strange echo of that same pursuit, using our own machines to understand theirs. The Antikythera mechanism stands as a bridge between worlds, between the ancient and the modern, the divine and the mechanical, mystery and understanding. It reminds us that progress is not a straight line, it's a cycle. Knowledge can rise, fall and rise again. So the next time you look at the stars, remember, once 2,000 years ago, someone built a machine that could follow them all. A relic that refused to die, whispering through time, reminding us that the minds of the ancients were not primitive. They were extraordinary. If you felt the weight of that discovery, if you believe the past still holds secrets waiting to be uncovered, then subscribe to The Forgotten Depths and help us keep exploring the mysteries that shaped our world. Because history never truly dies. It just waits to be found again.